Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, good night, wherever you may be. It's like in Warlord. The Stash. Hello, everyone. Welcome. We have a Town Star competition coming up in a couple hours. I will be in class taking one of my finals. But I wanted to go over very quickly what's going on in case you did want to participate. You know, get you a uh, really awesome, amazing NFT. So, apparently the meta is going to be Milk. M-I-L-K, Milk. Now, what they did, you know, instead of being creative or coming up with something interesting, instead they just made them cost a whole lot of money to make, cost more materials than they normally do to make, as well as making the ATVs cost way more to have, make. So, again... The, the lack of creativity here, I mean, we're, we've, we've done, we've done past scraping the bottom of the barrel here, clearly. Um, Mal has no creativity left, or maybe he never had any creativity. I, I used to give him credit because he promised all these amazing things and yet, yet to deliver. But I digress. Let's talk about milk. So the milk is going to sell for uh, 100,000 points per tin. So a million parts points per mil, uh, per hundred sale. Uh, so of note and interest, as I mentioned, the milk barns themselves cost a hundred thousand to make. They also cost five lumber and five energy now. And uh, the timers are regular. Um, I thought this was just going to auto produce milk, but no, it still needs feed. So your slow ass cows are still going to be slow ass cows having to get feed uh, to make the milk. Okay, so you still need feed, and they also are affected by pollution. So you can't put them close to anything. Uh, as you can see here, this milk barn is in red. These milk barns uh, produce 108 seconds, so that's over two minutes, or almost two minutes, and then these are producing at 27 seconds. So you, you're gonna basically wanna maximize uh, the amount of feed you're making obviously um, I've got wheat stands I think this would still be pretty easy to do with uh, just wheat and farmers and then um, I, I wanted to show you the ATVs because it's ridiculous how much they cost and it's not just how much they cost per minute but the ATVs now cost uh, $350,000 to make which is just Ridiculous. I don't. I don't know what they're thinking here. But basically, long story short, don't waste your time with ATVs until you're far ahead in your build and you've got everything laid out, because they're going to cost you not just to make, but a thousand dollars a minute is 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 a bit unnecessary. Uh, I don't know. Again, what they were thinking there. Um, so as far as the thing with milk right now, it is selling for a hundred thousand uh, points, but it's only selling for fifteen thousand cash. So you're going to have to come up with something in the meantime to uh, fill your coffers. So I was thinking butter. Uh, butter actually sells for uh, 200000 for 10. So you can realistically, you can do uh, wool. As you can see here, I've got some, some wool pins. So you can do a couple wool pins uh, get, until you get your, your bakery going. And then, you know, use your bakery to uh, sell some butter and, and kind of fill the time while you wait for your uh, milk to sale and if you don't have a bunch of ATVs uh, you, you, your cost of having a, a regular rancher is ten dollars a minute I mean it's it seems a bit absurd they went to a thousand dollars a minute so they really don't want you to use ATVs is what it seems like so that all being said um, you could try doing just wool if you really wanted to and just commit to uh, a bunch of wool cells uh, if you can get a spot that has a, a, a good timer on a freight pier. You could sell wool 100 at a time. That would be uh, 375,000 uh, cash, I think. Uh, yeah, 375,000 cash, so that, that would be good. Um, that would be something you could do. You just have to have a bunch of storehouses. Uh, so that's that's my plan. Um, it is only the, the top 4,500, so uh, they didn't even have 2,500 uh, towns last, last competition. There's nobody playing. So don't feel like you have to stress about this build. It's certainly not a complicated build. It's a pretty dumb meta. Uh, one of their dumbers for sure. Uh, dumb, the, the, one of the dumbest that they've done for sure, hands down. That all being said, 
Uh, if you are going to do ba uh, bakery for butter, remember you need salt and sugar. So as you can see here, I don't have an ocean edge. If you're going to do cake, you may want to get you an ocean edge. That way you can do brine easily, i.e. you can do salt easily. And then you need some sugar cane. So I've got that growing there. So I got my sugar and I got my salt and I got my milk and I'm making butter, selling the butter. And uh, that's giving me some extra cash uh, to keep, keep, my, uh, keep me employed and working. So um, other than that, I don't think it really matters what, what uh, biome you start on. Um, I would imagine Desert River is probably going to go fast. If you can grab one of those, great. If not, again, this isn't going to be extremely competitive because it's top 4,500 and we haven't had 4,500 towns in several months. So enjoy yourselves. Have fun. I'm going to make an NFT guilds competition soon. Matter of fact, I'm probably going to have it register this week and then I'll have it start when this one ends. So that way you guys don't have to worry about doing your towns. Also, I want to give a shout out to Cold Root. Cold Root on my Discord uh, made us a Google Doc keeping track of all the competition dates and rewards, as well as the reward structure on a separate tab. Fantastic job, Cold Root. Thank you very much for doing that for us. I'm going to link that below as well in the description. So if you've got any questions, as always, down below in the Discord is an easy way to get a hold of me. I've got my server as well if you want to join. I've got some links if you'd like to support me. If not, it doesn't matter. I still love all of you. I hope you had a wonderful Thanksgiving, and uh, I will see you later. Bye-bye. Just kidding. I'm liking Warlord. The stash, baby. I love you all. Take care. Bye for real this time. Bye-bye. Thank you so much for watching this video. I want to shout out my Patreons. Patreons from Patreon. And my new YouTube members as well. I got that going. Appreciate all of you. Thank you so very much. Your help has been crucial to keeping me alive and keep streaming and keep helping and hopefully entertaining you along the way. If anything I can do to make it more worth your while, please let me know down below. Also, you can find me on my Discord. I have my Discord server link down below. Patreon links down below. And then membership should be somewhere around here. Thank you all so very, very much. I really appreciate you. And I look forward to the future, and I hope you will come along for this journey with me. Thank you. Take care.